Almost everything inside Faro is an object. To create objects, we use classes. To create a class, all you have to do is click anywhere on the upper open area inside Faro. And as soon as you click, as you, soon as you left click, uh, the work menu will appear. The first option is a system browser. A system browser is a way to browse classes. It's the main tool for browsing classes. It divides in different areas. The first uh, column is the packets uh, column. Packages contain classes. Classes are in the second column. Classes contain methods. Methods are in the fourth column and methods are grouped into protocols, which is the third column. Now, an object is just a place inside memory, sorry about that, is a place inside memory where you can store two different kinds of things, data and code. Code exists inside variables. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> data exists inside variables while code in, in, uh, exist inside methods. Now, let's see how we create a class. The first thing we're going to do is right-click on it and add packets. We're going to add our own packets. I'm going to name my packets my packets. Of course, you can choose any name you, you want. It's better if you choose a name that starts with a capital letter. We have created our own packets. Now we can create our own class. What you see here is, an, is a message that is sent in an object in order to create a class. In this case, we send the, uh, the message subclass to the object object, which is uh, basically one of the most basic classes inside Faro. You can use different classes to send the subclass me uh, uh, message, uh, depending on which class you want to inherit. But inheriting is something we're going to discuss in another chapter, another video tutorial. So what we have to do in this case is just replace this part with the name of our class. In this case, we're going to name the class my class. Remember to keep this hash symbol in the start of your name. So my class and click accept. And it has created the class because we can see the name here. Now, the, the message that we have sent here to the, to the object uh, class has instance variables names as a parameter, class variables names, and it says that I'm in the category my packets, which is the case. A class has two sides. It has an instance side and a class side. Class side contains methods like the instance side contains methods as well. But the difference between an instance and a class side is that an instance is like a child of the class itself, but it can carry its own set of values. We're going to discuss instances and class sides in later video tutorials, but I'm going to give you a very brief uh, look on how this works. Now, let's search for an existing class. In this case, I'm going to go to Athens, and I'm going to pick the Athens examples here. Visit target them. Now, as you can see, I am on the instance side, and I'm on the instance side because in order to go to the class side, all you have to do is click class here and check this box. So now I'm seeing the methods on the class side of the class. I return back to the instance. This is the methods on the instance side. Now, in order to, run, to actually execute on this method, all I have to do is go to Widget Tiger Demo New. Now, what happens here? It says this message new, and as soon as Faro sees this message, it knows that you want to create an instance of this class. The instance is going to have access only on the instance variables, which we define here. This case is surface and on the instance methods we run here. This is the only access you have. But each instance is going to have its own set of values. Now, if we want to run this 
Uh, if we want to execute this method, all we have to do is add run demo. Do it. And do it with right click. And you can see now it executes the method in the instance side. If we want to run a method on the class side, we go here, click class, and now it displays us the methods on the class side. Now, all we have to do is go here and do VGTiger demo run demo, which is this method here. Now observe in this case, we haven't new, used the new message. And the reason for that is because we don't create an instance. We access the class side directly. So this is actually the only difference between an instance side and the class side. The instance side creates instances and each instance can have its own set of values. But the class side doesn't need to create an instance and we can access this method immediately just using the name of the class. That's all for today. See you on the next video tutorial.